Check out channelfireball.com to step up your game with videos and articles from the best in the world. You can use the code Gabby at checkout to help support this channel. We are drafting Kaldheim. I believe this card is quite good. Creatures you control that are enchanted or equipped have double straight up at the beginning of combat. You may attach target aura or equipment attached to a creature you control, target creature you control. So you can move them around. Um, equipped creature gets plus two plus one has VG. Equipped creature, when equipped creature dies, return it to its owner's hand. Yeah, that seems very cool. That seems like what we want to take for sure. Yes, I I, I think the, um, the equipment side is much better than the god. But I guess there are situations in which you might want the god. I'm not really sure. You can try to draft like enchantments for that. Creatures you control that are enchanted or equipped have double strike. Like if you draft a full on enchantments deck, it seems like it's maybe your best card. Um... You think the equip is so much better than the front set? Yeah, that's kind of how I feel too, just reading it, having not played against it or with it at all. Hey, CSP! Thank you so much for the 13 months. Welcome back. You think the flip set is even better? Um, Red White Aggro is pretty good. Frostbite is not bad in a way. Um, What would you take if you wanted to do Red White Aggro? Probably just Frostbite. I was looking at the Feed the Serpent. I don't know how good Black White is. I, I haven't had a chance to draft it at all. I know Frostbite is quite good. I am interested in that. Passing that snow-covered mountain. You like Halval, Halvar better in red-white. Sure. That makes sense. What is the other option to take Agar? Agar does require us to go into three colors. Whenever a creature plays walker and opponent controls is dealt excess damage, if giant, wizard, or spell you control dealt damage to it, this turn draw a card. Um, yeah, we can take this and uh, splash for it. We just have to find some stuff first, which I think is fine. Ryan! Ryan MTG, the other Ryan MTG. Thank you so much for the three months. I appreciate that. Um, I don't mind the shield mate. Yeah, I'm not ready to commit yet. I mean, I think these are both good and, and we could end up in three colors. I mean, if we end up being just red-white, I think that's also fine. Um... What are our other options here? Not the gates. You think Doomscar Oracle is better than Shieldmate? I think which was whenever you cast your second spell each turn. Isn't that the black white deck though? I guess it's fine even if you don't end up in that, huh? Yeah, I can see taking that. I would have taken this nor normally, I think. All right, we are not a Svela deck. Oh, hello. Uh, sack, Arx, Marid, Garmory, search your library for an aura card and or equipment card, reveal them and put it into your hand. So this is another tutor for Halvar, which would be quite good, I think. Hmm. I kind of like this. Also, if we pick up any of the, like, white enchantments that are pacifisms, Armory is slow. It does not tutor Halvar. Isn't that an equipment? Oh, because it sees the front side instead. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, in that case, I think I'm just interested in that or like maybe Dwarven reinforcements. Snow-covered forest. It's not looking like we're playing this Agar. Take the bad tap raise? He's aight. He's aight. Uh, open the Omen Paths I have not been impressed with. Uh, the Glacial Floodplain casts Agar. The other option is to take a story seeker, it's just two mana two two, but that's kind of kind of whatever. I, I think I should take this. Red doesn't seem open, by the way. The hall is great. Which one's this one? The Great Hall of Starnhein. ETB's tapped. Oh, this would make us move into black, but we're not really committed to red. I saw Molly play with this card yesterday. It seemed very good. Yeah, alright. Great Hall is one of the better lands. Y it seems quite strong. So, it does look like we might be moving into black. Black seems a lot more open than red. Um, so let me move this down here. Could take just another Gold Maw champion. Rune Crown enters the battlefield to may search your library in hand for a graveyard or a rune card put into the battlefield attached to rune crown. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. Equip creature gets plus one plus one. I could see rune crown and try to get um try to get a rune. 
Yeah, it does make your, like, it basically lets you tutor a rune if you have it, which doesn't seem too bad. I'm not excited to, like, put another gold mod champion in here. Uh, what is this? Battlefield Raptero. One minute, one, two, flying first strike. I don't think so. Um, could take Feed the Serpent now? That's a pretty good reason to start moving into black. Hopefully this isn't the road to ruin. We, we always go down the road of ruin, slew. That just happens. Yo, Shadow Niche. Thank you, or I think that's how you say that. Okay. Um, yeah, it does look like Black White is open, by the way. Return to your card from your graver to your hand. The Dogger Recruiter. Wings of the Cosmos. Starheim Corsair could be not bad. Yarl, you're saying? I was kind of looking at uh, this, this Dogger Recruiter. I'm not sure. They they all seem kind of the same. For sure God's Hall is surprisingly good. For sure God's Hall? Which one are you talking about? Guardian is nice to equip things to. Yeah, that's true. The, it's not bad with our um with our Sword of the Realms, actually. Um Master's Call is pretty good, right? When Master's Call DTBs, you may exile a creature card from your yard if you do return target artifact enchantment. Uh yeah, and this also works with the runes, so we have to pick some of those up. Let me bottom that. Creatures are going to go plus two plus one until the turn. Uh, I don't think I'm playing that. I could see Raven Wings, maybe. You underestimate the Skull Chunk. It's also a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Enchanted or equipped half double strike. Okay. Mm. I don't mind this card. There's another Dogger Recruiter. Invoke the Divine. We're playing best of one, though, because we're playing ranked, so I think we don't have as much uh, importance on that. Flying is good for defense. Yeah, this is best of one. Yeah, I wanted to try to rank us up out of bronze. <laughs> you don't think you play more than one recruiter? Yeah, I like the Elder Fang Disciple. I have been impressed with that card. Uh, I don't think we want that. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. I mean, sure, I don't think we're... We could main deck Invoke. I'm just going to take the Dogger's Pursuit. Yeah, it does kind of look like we are trending towards a more controlling deck, potentially. We can take the Dread Rider. Not that I'm excited about it, but... You main deck Invoke in this format. Maybe. I don't know how much you'd want something like that. We can... Definitely not playing double Dead Rider, but we can play one. Scry X, where X is the amount of snow. Oh yeah, that card. Uh, not for us, sadly. What is Clarion Spirit? Whenever you cast your second spell, you just turn create a 1-1. One, one. That seems not bad. I think I want that. There's also Bounding Gold. Clarion Spirit is absurd. Yeah, that's what I was leaning towards. Bounding Gold looks interesante, but... And I'm not gonna wheel it, sadly. The card is pretty poggers. This card is pretty doggers. Julita's right there. Look at her. Oh, hi. Uh, just a faithful, I guess. Um, and we could try to splash. We could try to splash that card, though. I don't know how good that is to splash. It's pretty strong. <laughs> Clarion Spirit is a Hector of Cards. That's high praise. Faithful. Go for some way down bonus. Maj is a fine splash. This pack sucks. Yeah, I was looking at this thing, but I'm also not excited to play this card. Maybe I do take this, and if we can't splash, I just don't think we should. Oh, hello. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. We could take a second one and now prioritize fixing to try to play her. Yeah, if I take two. That's kind of what I was thinking. There's also nothing good in this pack for us. Like, what are we going to take? The Braggarino? Everything else is bad. It's a... I hope it's not a soft J. 
I would read this as Maja, not Maya. Another clarion spirit. So we want to pick up some faux cheap stuffs to to try to pop off with um, Espiritus. Create a 1-1 one, one green warrior creature token. Create a 1-1 one, one green elf creature token. Choose any number of artifacts or tokens. Blah, 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 blah. I don't think we're interested in that. Uh, if we're already on the cast two spells plan, we could take another Doom Scar. And then we can just be like, a, try to cast two spells. I, I We might not even play that Maja. I don't know. Ooh. It's hot. Hot, 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 hot. How's everybody been, chat? It's good to see you. Have you been liking the set so far? I think with double oracle, I want to get low with a curve. Same. Double oracle and double clarion also. We've got all these dread riders, which we would hopefully get rid of in our deck. Hey, that's an actual good payoff for black also for the dub spells too. BG, when code spell cleric enters the battlefield, if it was the second spell you cast a certain put a post on post on counter and target creature. Hmm. Yeah, I could see the getting the one drop because we already have two of these and two of these. So like we don't really need this. Maybe it makes sense to do that. I'm not sure. I think the pet is better, though. You take the pet here and go hard on one drops. I do think the pet's quite a bit better than that. Let me take that. Let me move the Dread Rider out of here. I might get rid of the, the, the Maja or whatever. Um, we could take the Weight Down. The Weight Down is a very cheap spell. It does need a little setup. Could also take another Oracle and then just try to pop off, baby. Julie! I think if I take the Doomscar Oracle, I can get rid of both of these <clears throat> and then just try to go hard on the two spells one turn. Mm. None of these are good. Yeah, I think I think we are we are off this plan. Tegrid Shadow, you can foretell it for four each player sacrifices two creatures. I mean, it's good in our make a bunch of tokens deck. I don't know if we're playing it, though. Is that better than the Braggart? Yeah, I'm probably not playing this. I think the Wings of the Cosmos might make sense. <laughs> Just like Wings of the Cosmos something before combat attack. Or like, or rather, play one of these than Wings of the Cosmos. Like, it's not like it's an exciting card, but I think we want it in this deck. Um, this, if you foretell it, it kind of works pretty well with tokens. I don't know if we're playing it, but it seems fine. Hey, this is actually good. Could also do this. This is free. Free 99, and then we can go like foretell this, and then on turn three, play Doomscard Oracle, and and then. Play it for free. Yeah, baby. I like it. I like it. We never picked up a rune, huh? Uh, this seems kind of whatever. Probably not playing it. Let me move it over here. Never Colossal Plow Attacks. Add uh, white, white, white. And you gain three life until your until end of your turn. You don't lose this mana. Okay, we're not playing that. Do you like free 99? Yeah, I do love it. You love to see it. All right, these are all in Garbaggio. Okay, now we're trying to pick up some really cheap stuff. Um, There's the rune, which I think is good, and we could pick up here, and it's relatively cheap, right? The white rune is really good. Yeah, I even have the rune crown. And then I also have the Halvar also, which cares about runes and stuff. Yeah, I think we take that. Yeah, we can move it around because we can put the the we can put it on the rune crown and then that. Cantrips also let you double spell more. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Good point. I like this deck so far. Let's get rid of the really expensive stuff. The Tegrid Shadow is honestly looking mediocre. Um, so now. Interesting. Now we can take... I don't think it's Master Scald. 
We could take way down or the another scorn effigy. I think it might be way down time. Hmm. First way down, way down. Yeah, I was kind of on the way down plan too. All right. <laughs> All right, Luis, let's, let's settle down for a moment. You're you're out of control. Oh, how was LR, by the way? Or Sihar? What were you recording today? LR. You were recording LR today. Yeah. It was great, of course. Okay, Luis, can you... Can we calm down? <laughs> well, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until in the turn for that boast creature seems not bad. But I could also see Revitalize so we can dub spell more often. This card seems very good. Like, this is so good with the Espiritus, right? You think village rights may be potentially good here? As an additional cost to cast a spell sack to creatures, draw two cards. Interesting. I think I'm going to take this thing. But I'm I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not I'm not confident. Wow, that ice bind pillar is still there. Oh, you can actually if you look closely, there's actually a person bound in the pillar. That's funny. Yeah, we're popping off with these oracles. Now I'm gonna take basically any free spell or one mana spell I can find. Like, I'll take anything. Ooh, Ascent of the Worthy. Choose a creature you control until next turn. All damage that would be dealt to creatures you control this turn is dealt to that creature instead. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with a flying counter on it if that creature is an angel warrior in addition to its other types. Mm. You haven't been impressed with the Snowy Manipulator? I have lost badly to it most of the time. I'm going to take the Dusk Wielder. The other Saga might be better, but we just need the cheap stuff. So there's another pet. Uh, Valkyrie's sword enters the battlefield, you may pay 5. If you do create a VG angel, then attach Valkyrie's sword to it. Equip trick is plus 2, plus 1. Um, and the other option is Stalwart Valkyrie. You may pay 2 extra to exile a trick from your graveyard rather than play the spell's mana cost. Oh! This is potentially a very cheap card. Yeah, I like it. That's really good for kind of what we're trying to do. It's a little awkward of the first way down. Yo, I just got past every single one of these. I just want to keep taking them, right? Let me take out the other cards that don't make sense anymore. Like, the Dogger Recruiter looks kind of... Like, dog shit. <laughs> the Dogger Pursuit doesn't seem great. Um, yeah, take them all. Yeah, that's my plan. This is a zero drop, kind of. Can't move it more. Um, Raise the Dogger? Oh, Enchant Permanent, Enchant Permanent can attack. Mm, Bound came back, and it is also fetchable with... Oh, no, never mind. I was thinking of something else, but it's still really good. Yeah, I'm going to take this for sure. Uh, ooh, this is a kind of close pick. Best Cure Shieldmate or another Scorn Effigy for the play two spells one turn plan? Kind of like the effigy better. You think it's the effigy in this deck, Scarecrow, Scarecrow? Yeah, I kind of think so too. I feel like we're so all in the two spells, one turn thing. I don't think we're playing two of those, but whatever. Maybe village rights. Target creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains double strike until end of turn, and it foretells for one. I think this is good in this deck. I don't know. We're about to find out. <laughs> I guess plus two plus so whenever this creature dies, return the battle. Oh, demonic gifts. Isn't this just unlikely aid? No, unlikely aid was given destructible question mark. There's a lot of cards that Oh, hello. Supernatural stamina, thank you. Is it's the same card, right? Oh my gosh, nomadic, thank you. I hope you've been well. Everything's been good around here. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Molly, corporate needs you to find the difference between these two things is like one of my favorite memes. I just think it's so funny. Minus scalds, I think. Uh, yes, I think the master... We, we had one master scald. We probably don't need to. I want to get rid of everything that's expensive. 
Anything that's remotely expensive, like I think the dog recruiter goes. This is kind of a two mana card. I'm going to be optimistic and put it there. This is kind of a two mana card. I'm going to be optimistic and put it there. Feed the Serpent makes sense for it to be a four drop. It's been really good, Mr. Verbal. I, I've been actually watching the box break stream uh, from over here. Take a look. Over. Feast your eyes on this. Oh, let me tell you actually about a cool thing that hasn't been announced, but it is happening tomorrow. I think this will be the first time it, uh, people hear about it. So tomorrow, Luis is going to be doing a stream. And on this stream, he's going to be... Okay, hold on. Let me back up. Let me back up to talk about what box breaks are. What Mashi's doing here on this <laughs> on this stream. So box breaks are very popular in um, uh, sports cards. So people would like all together buy into a box and then they, they'd split it like, I just want the, I don't know, the Giants cards or I just want some other football team's cards. I couldn't even think of one. Um, <laughs> and, and then that's how you'll split a box. So then that way you don't get the cards that you don't want. But also commonly it gets randomized. So you'll just like get a specific color or get a specific um, like group of some sort. QB Sports Pro. Oh yeah, I could think of one team and then that was it um so right now what's happening is look they're doing this this mixer box and these are all the people that are in that break and they will randomize who ends up in what color so the, the groups are white blue black red green and then they're going to random.org and then they're going to crack packs and then the people here in this break will get um all the uncommon and higher rarity cards so like foils and and stuff like that in the group that they're in so basically CFB is bringing this to magic and like Pokemon, flesh and blood, that sort of thing. And so tomorrow Luis is doing a stream where he's going to be giving away entry into basically an entire box break. That's just going to be Luis's box break and he's going to be in it too. So he's going to be streaming in the afternoon. You can enter to win the giveaway and you basically, it's like worth $50 each one of these entries. They're cracking a Kaldheim collector's booster like box and a set box. Hmm. That seems cool. Where do you sign up if you want to do it? Um, here, Smurfy, the best way I can plug it really is just sending you... Luis, stop. <laughs> it's sending you over to their stream. Over here in their stream, they have a bunch of uh, links for you to find out where to go. Like they have links to their purchasing page. Like if you just type exclamation, exclamation mark buy in there, you can just go to the CFB page where you can see all the stuff that's being sold. I know, Caroline has an entry, has a free entry into one of these today. She's in the on-demand later on tonight. I think it might work out for her to watch it live. So I think I will be in one of these on Friday as well. So you've seen a bunch of people promoting that they're in some of these breaks. That's one of the things I've been working on lately. So it's a cool little shout out about the box breaks, but I'm kind of watching this on the other screen to make sure that everything's running smoothly. All right, we got to make some cuts still. Mm-hmm. Why are my What's up with my CMCs? <laughs> Did you have you guys ever seen this? Uh hold on, let me see what your question was, Synth. Wow. Six Speaking months. of the ultimate Kahan bundles, that's so the one the rotating banner at the bottom. Do you know when those ship out? Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, so if you can ask customer support. And those can't ship out until cheese. like um, basically like a date determined by Wizards. So I'm not, I'm not sure about it. Just leave and come back. All right, let me try that. Uh, no, no, I don't want to purchase anything. What? Arena's losing it. Holy moly! All right, let me uh just close it. Yeah, I'm just going to close it and then open it again. Boy, small indie company, by the way. <laughs> hi, Jules. You want to say hi? Hi, cutie. Hi. Hi. Jules, shake. Shake. Good girl. Oh, she's so good. Am I playing on Arena? Oh, have you guys played on Arena Mobile? Does it work well? Yeah, I, I, Chubb, I think like Hearthstone might still be beta or something. There's some game that's extremely popular that's been out for a really long time that is technically still in beta. 
you play on mobile red hour again night and you think it works okay hey jules what's going on girl oh no i think arena's losing it oh gotta take out everything okay <laughs> oh my god, so many cards I don't need. These cost zero. Okay. Um I might play that, but I guess it's not clear. This Golden Law Champion looks replaceable invoke the Divine Dust too. We probably need only one pet. The Faithful looks bad. The Rune Crown seems alright. This is a two drop. This is a two drop. We don't need the dog. Do is dogger pursuit or dodged pursuit? Let me see. Dodged pursuit. Uh, we don't need the dogger recruiter. The master scalds. We don't need the dead riders or dread riders, whatever. Warnhorn blast, integrate shadow. We don't need the shadow. We probably don't need the warnhorn. Warhorn blast. My god. I like Doggo Pursuit. <laughs> it's decent enough I can jam some quick matches, but it helps my phone. It's very modern. I would worry about it crashing my phone, to be honest. Like, that would be a real concern I would have. Not even that my phone is bad. It just sometimes you play, like, Hearthstone Battlegrounds on your phone and it just crashes anyway, you know? Dogged Pursuit? It's not dodged? Hold on, really? Oh, you're right. It is Dogged Pursuit. They love the doggers in this set. Cyber Shinjuku, thank you so much for the 29. You like Blast here, actually. Which one's that one real quick? Which one is Blastrino? <laughs> oh, the Warhorn Blast. I can see that because you can foretell it and it's a three drop, but then that still means we have to make some cuts. Like if this is on my maybe board, I could cut a land maybe. I know, we didn't drop Snow Arc. I dropped the two spells one turn. But it, it's a cool deck. Take a look at it. Feast your eyes upon this deck. Maybe the Raven Wings. I, I, I want to cut more expensive cards if I can. Yeah, we've got a five of. We've got five Doomscar Oracles. If we, so look at this, if we go, if we cut down a 16 because this is a low curving deck, maybe Valor of the Worthy. I could see Valor of the Worthy being mediocre. It's good with Helver, but that's basically it. What's the black two drop? It's the one that makes you discard a card. I think this one's worth it. The rune is good with a uh, runed crown. Yeah, it's just a disc, it's basically just like a rat. You still want 17 lands due to actually needing to hit land drops. Yeah, I mean, you, you definitely want to hit three at the very least. If that's the case, and we do add another planes, I, because I can totally buy that, and we do want this card, I could see cutting Valor, and then another three drop. The, ba the Battle Shield Warrior is basically like Warhorn Blast. Because I don't know what else we cut. Also, having the Great Hull also makes us want to have an extra land because we technically down a land once we use it. Let's go graveyards to feel way down. That's true, too. We have a couple things I care about cards in the graveyard. Cut one Doomscar. Do we, we do have five. Uh, but I think the whole deck is the whole deck is wrapped around Doomscar. I think I'd rather cut the Warhorn Blast at that point. Might add it back in later. We'll see. I feel like we already have a creature that is basically an anthem. Hold on. And it's telling us nine planes, eight black sources. Let me look. What the hell? Oh my god, Arena's so buggy. What is wrong with it? Can I? It's so bad. Sure. God, stop. I accept. Can I just see the deck comp? No, hold on. Let me save the deck because I'm going to be really mad if we have to remake it. There you go. 
13 and 8. Yeah, I think the breakdown it gave us is fine. Can I now pick the actual sleeves I wanted? Thank you very much. <laughs> Seize man, what is wrong with my arena? I don't I don't understand. It's broken multiple times today. Hi Jules. You say hi? You say hi to the stream? Oi, cutie pie. Oi. Careful. Hi Felda, it's good to see you. How are you, Felda? Hope you've been good. <laughs> yeah. If we were drafting cons, we wouldn't be having these these problems. <gasps> yeah, we wouldn't, Jules. We wouldn't. Wait. <laughs> Nomadic influence. I don't know if you saw, but at the actual release there was a big problem with um the enchantment that ramps you. And if you tapped it manually, it would crash you. So then during the pre-release, people were like tapping all their mana and then manually untapping for it to crash. So they were just like mana burning every single time that, that they played that card. Just some really loose stuff. Like their papal product. This is just the foil version of Arena. Four reels. Looks nice, but it just bends in the corners. You're good trying to figure out to play in Pioneer on Saturday. I have not looked at Pioneer at all, Felda. I don't know what's good there. Uh, that sounded like my opponent conceded, but <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Click to continue, by the way. You can hear that, right? All right. Restart again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they pushed an update recently. Maybe that's what's going on. I think mode is more stable. I mean, at this point, I'm committed to... Like, honestly, I would switch to Khan's draft, but I really like the deck we drafted. I want to play that deck out, you know? Also, if, if it was just like during the deck build, it's not even that big a deal. Actually, let me go fix my quests real quick. 25 lands, 40 lands, 30 red blue spells. Let me do this one. Black or green spells. Okay. This looks fine. Yeah, multi five. I haven't played since last Friday. All right, I think I'm in. Uh... I hope we actually get to play a match. Okay, K K K. I mean, the sand is fine. We can foretell this on two and then play the backs. Oh no, that we want. We would want to play the backside. Hmm. No, this works. We can foretell this on two, then play Oracle, and then play this as the first, uh, s the second spell each turn. That actually works out pretty nicely. You order some cards for Popper. People are gonna enjoy playing against Turbo Fog. Oh my God, Felda! What kind of Turbo Fog? What flavor of Turbo Fog? There's gonna be a planes. Hmm, the rune is not bad. Let me foretell this. Uh, as an additional cost to cast a spell exile, a creature card from your graveyard. Target creature gets minus three, minus three until the turn. I really wish we could kill this right now, but we're not going to be able to. Unfortunately. Nice! We did the combo, baby! <laughs> Your favorite popper deck for a while was One Land Spy. I don't know if it stands up still. I don't think I've seen that deck. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, put a plus one plus a second spell. Um... This so clearly is them wanting to hit, like, 
I, I don't want to block here. That just seems so obvious, like, what they wanted to do is juke, juke me, somehow. Um, so we play two spells this turn, I get to play... Sword of the Realms and Rune of Sustenance? We could also just play the equipment and, uh... Just equip it. Because the sword's just very good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Crypto is plus super and has VG. I think I'm gonna put it on this boy. Wonder what that attack was. It might have been weighed down and they wanted this to go to the yard so then they could weigh me down. But right now they don't have creatures in the yard and they didn't want to trade their pet. Yeah, Rune of Mortality. When a DTBs draw a card, as long as enchanted creature... Uh, as long as enchanted permanent is a creature, it has death touch. So it has death touch. As long as enchanted permanent is an equipment, it has equipped creature, has death touch. Okay. What is Jarl? Zombie cleric. Yeah, they would have stops if that were the case. That's like the four mana one that destroys a creature that took damage, right? I think it's way down. It's true. If if we lose a thing, we can also weigh down as well. I mean... I'm probably going to attack with the effigy. I'm not worried. I will say, if the effigy dies, we don't get to weigh down, though. Because <laughs> it's going to come back to the end. It's only the creature equipped, right, Smurfy? Yeah, it's only equipped creature. It's still really good. I'll be... I didn't do anything. Um, sushi, that deck is not right. That is a constructed deck, and this is draft. Did they DC or are they roping? I think they're roping, Johnny. Also, welcome, by the way. Hope you're having a good day today. Yeah, no worries, AX. It's funny, that's how long ago I played Constructed on this channel. It's Just Guy Fires from whenever that was legal. Um, I think in this spot, I want to just pet and rune. And do the rune on here. And proc both. This is a card or a creature card? Exile a creature card from your graveyard. So nothing yet. <laughs> oh, I should have ruined the sword. Yeah, you're right about that. I could have done that. Yeah, I should have. I haven't played with the runes that much. I'm not used to it. Uh, Look, as it turns out, it was the way down. That is what they had before. Still? Oh, now that we have the pet in the yard, we can't kill it, though. So we can play second oracle. We won't be able to equip it, but we can play second oracle, gain two life, way down the infernal pet. You want to oracle and equip? Are you sure it's not better to just weigh it down? We don't need to gain two, but I don't want this thing to get bigger. Yeah, I don't agree with that, Molly. I'm gonna I'm gonna weigh it down. You weigh down plus four tell Oracle. Oh, and then you can play that the following turn. Yeah, I could see that too. The, it is awkward that you don't play the Valkyrie if this happens, but if one of these dies, then I do get to. Okay, they got me. That was unfortunate. Exile a creature card from your giver rather than playing the spell's mana cost. I 
Vandal is annoying. The card is, when Mass Vandal enters the battlefield, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, exile targeted artifact or enchantment controls. I mean... We... We Valkyrie. Um, probably we're sending with both. Wait, how did they even play that Max Vandal? Oh, they have one forest in their deck. Well, I don't really care about the bow, so I guess I'll just kill the Max Vandal. Hold on, let me lower this. Okay, they're pretty much a nothing else. Plus three, plus plus one, plus three, and gains flying until end of turn. Untap it. Um. So unless they squad block, we're in pretty good shape. And if they squad block, we get to take down. Yeah, I don't think I'm even gonna use it. Yeah, I, I agree, Molly. I think I'm just gonna hit with Valkyrie. Not even worry about double spelling here. Just play the Scorn Effigy. I'm gonna hold on to it. And then next turn, since they're on one card, just do it to him. Send both. That should be lethal. I guess it depends if they send their Dusk Wielder here. Oh, that's annoying. I can still attack the stalwart Valkyrie and eat the Elder Leaf Mentor, but I can't attack with anything else. Well, that's really unfortunate. Yeah, it does kind of weaken two for two. No. Oh, you trade. You're right. I guess we do that. <sighs> Yeah. No, we're not attacking with Scorn. We can't even really... We could attack with Doomscar Oracle, I think. Because if they block here, then I still trade and this lives. I don't think we attack with Scorn, though. Because if they block Scorn, that's horrendous for us. Um, This is 3 power. Yeah, this looks fine. And then we wings you. I mean, now we're top decking. It leaves us with a scorn effigy, right? And if they don't draw something, maybe... Oh no, they foretold something. As initial cost of cast is supposed to sacrifice a creature. Draw two cards. Okay, well... It's just a creature, right? Yep. Think we don't sack anything yet? Let's see what they foretold. That that will work at some point. I guess I don't really know what they're working with. They might be slow rolling it. You think it's each player's axe too? That could... I mean, they'd have to use it right now, right? And then we get to draw off the village rights. You may sacrifice a creature when you do. Carter's Vicious Return deals 3 damage to any target. But they don't have. Uh, each... Oh, they're just good gaming me. Okay. What is their foretell spell? Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Time twister, that was a good read. <laughs> Why were they playing the foretell pump spell in their deck? I don't I don't get it. That was funny. I did not expect that. It was not on that was not on my radar. Um, this hand looks good. Let's do it. There's bound to be a little farming going on. Everybody here knows that I love I love some good farming, especially of teammates, mostly of teammates. All right, we need to get one of our cheap enablers. I guess we have the wings of the cosmos. I like it, Jumbie. I respect that. Oh, Oracle is a cheap enabler. Yeah, that's true. We can just foretell him. Then for one. So what we might do is go foretell Doomscar Oracle on two, three play pet, Turn four, play Doomscar Oracle and OG Do uh, the other Doomscar Oracle. Wait, what is this? Um, they cast it as the ring. It ETBs choose a creature type. They chose elf. Spend mana only to cast this creature spell of the chosen type or a legendary creature spell. Oh, we do need another white for all this to work. You're right. So we might have to play another Doomscar Oracle on three. So on four, we can go pet um, white source. Yeah, something like that. So let me go that into foretell you. So sorry, what did that all do? It just... Add green, spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type or a legendary creature spell. Okay, so it's a mana source for elves. Hey, Slam Dunk, welcome. Could also play pet on turn four. Yeah, I think that's my plan right now. Okay, so they played the elvish war master. They're popping off. So this thing, whenever one or more elves enter the battle from your control, you make another elf. This ability triggers only once each turn. For seven mana, they kind of overrun. And then tap an untapped creature you control, add one mana. Oh, it's that card. Hey, I got another white source. Amazing. So, yeah, that card, the card's intense, yo. I really would like to kill that ASAP if I can. So yeah, I think my plan is going to be playing the Doomscar Oracle. And then next turn, I can go Swamp, Pet, Doomscar Oracle. Happy drafting today. <gasps> Thank you, Cobalt. How are you? It's good to see you. Hope you're having a good one, Cobalt. We need to get our... What's our removal? Feed the Serpiente. Could also get some way down, but I don't have anything in the yard to weigh down yet. Our removal's not great in the stack, sadly. Hi, Asi. How are you? Had a little Peggy action? Okay. Uh, nice, nice. Don't really want to trade with these idiots. <laughs> Time twister. I'm still gonna lose to this Elvish War Master. Say what you will, but I'm losing badly. I might put the Rune of Sun Sustenance on the pet and just start jamming. <gasps> Thank you so much, G Gems. I appreciate that. How are you doing? It is exciting getting to see you today. They're sending in with Peggy, and that's it. We're going to try to race them with all of our life gain. That's the plan. Bragarino. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we've got Bra Bragarinos for days. So if we go Doomscar Oracle, just play him straight up. Put counter on Runa Sustenance on the Infernal Pet. And then we can just gain six life. Draw a card. Love it. Oh no, I drew the rune! <laughs> I 
how's my stream gonna change full-time position so ggibs if you want to take a look at it i actually made a, th a twitter thread that had all that information basically it switched to cfb um um is totally supporting me streaming still obviously a lot less i'm streaming on tuesday or wednesday and friday so basically two days a week during the times that i would usually stream at here i can link you to it ggibs it was right there I'm gonna take it all, I don't... Oh, that's right, you can grab that from the yard. I guess my next turn is just gonna be Doomscar Oracle and then um, target with wings another Doomscar Oracle. Jeez, what is this? If a giant source you control would deal damage to a permanent... Or player, it deals double that damage to the permanent or player instead. Yeah, Feed the Serpent is really good. So this thing hits for 6, basically. That means that we can Feed the Serpent and Wings in the same turn, and then we still get to proc the, the pet. Um, They only have... They have 6 mana. This is... this That doesn't quite do it. They only have that as a giant. This is a dwarf warrior. We could attack and see what happens. Doesn't that mean that one of our things gets owned if we do that though, Molly? Because I, I don't like that the Calamity... You think it'll work. I just feel like I need... We have feed plus wings. We do. That is a lot of backup. Maybe I do. That does mean that my pet doesn't get flying though. All right. You know what? I'm in. Let's. I'm gonna jam. Sure. Yeah, I think this is going to go okay. That was it. They didn't want to block with Elvish Warmaster. Wow, they didn't put the Calamity Bearer in front of it. That's funny. Yeah, this is going to work out pretty nicely. Um, I do want to proc the... Oh, I guess I don't need to even give it flying. That's fine. I Oh, it's one extra point of damage, so I guess that does matter. What should I kill, the Elvish Warhammer or the Calamity Bearer? It's blocked, but I gained the life because it's got lifelink. I guess it's not like a huge deal. I guess the other question is, do we maybe just play a Doomscar Oracle instead of feeding the Serpent? Yeah, that might be fine, actually. So let me go to damage. And this is going to be my second spell this turn. I don't think I need to feed the Serpent. I just have so much life that I don't need to worry about these guys right now. Then maybe next turn, depending on what happens, I might feed the Serpent and play whatever I draw. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, at this point, they also lost a bunch of the elves, so we're not as worried. What does this one do? Basis having becomes a 4-3 creature with VG and uh, all creature types until the turn is still a land. How much snow do they have? One. Hey, that's the second thing. Um, Now without the trick, we probably don't want it. We probably want to pre-combat kill the Calamity Bearer. Yeah. Why do they have a pause? Is it that? Oh, it's the Jaspera Sentinel. All right. Well, Poggers, we popped off.
I think the attack is fine though, right? Because even if we lose the pet, um, we can rune crown to get it back. And like next turn we can go rune crown, play this. All they have is this. They would have to not play anything uh, for it to be able to proc. And then we even get to boast with the Dusk Wielder. So, like, either way, even if we lose the pet, I think we're in fine shape there. Yeah, I love it. And we're ranking out of bronze. Thank you very much. We have five oracles. Amazing. <laughs> Who was that? <gasps> Zyla, thank you so much for the 13. How are you, hon? It's good to see you. Silver stream, we're getting there. We're slowly trucking away from the depths of bronze. <laughs> hey, Unknown, how are you? Just spare something while having reached the weird one. Yeah! I guess it doesn't come up super often unless you pump it up, because it's like just a one two. Yeah, for sure. Having 48 life definitely helped there. Um. This hand doesn't do that much. Doing well, done with work soon. I like it, Unknown. Got any cool plans for today? Lord Limpy. Lord Tupperware's third cousin. <laughs> oh, man. I think I'm going to keep this, but I'm not excited about this hand. I think it's still worth it, though. What did you apply for, Unknown? Have I heard of Rogue Book? No. You got your Magic Legends Alpha Test Code yesterday. I'm so happy. Oh, that's cool, Floyd. That's the like the new Magic MOBA. Is that right? Apply for software engineer and data science as well. Good luck, unknown. I don't really know much about the hiring process over there. I don't have any foretells, do I? Nope. Uh, create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, except it enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter. So it's, uh, that's pretty strong. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a snow card, you may reveal it and put it into your hand. Cute. And then the just bear is something. Oh. Yeah, good luck, unknown. GLHF. Active risk can be active most of their mana abilities. Um... No way! A Slay the Spire game by Richard Gardfield, no less. I should check that out. That sounds very much up my alley. Um, I don't think I want to bound and gold this thing. It's just a mark. It's a marketing position, Johnny. It's it's working in like um, influencer marketing, basically. Mostly just working in in the marketing department. Glittering Frost Day shirt. Are they missing land drops? Yeah, that sounds really cool, Gatekeeper. I am very interested. Oh, hello. Cast second spell each turn. Create a 1-1 one -one spirit token with flying. How can I set this up so that I can trigger this Clarion spirit for a couple turns from here on out? I can go Clarion Spirit, make a 1-1, one -one, but then even this, like, Jaspira Sentinel just blocks it, so that's not even good. If I play this this turn and then play the Valkyrie next turn, I don't proc it. Unless I go Bounding Gold and then Wings. Hmm. Maybe I just... Oh, no, maybe I just Valk this last turn and then Clarion and... Yeah, I messed that up. I need to Valk this turn. I was gonna wings, but it just doesn't do anything. Whatever. Yeah, the next turn we could have maybe like... But we're not gonna bound in gold either of these is the thing. I like this doge that's like, oh shit, I got some wings, baby. Okay, they foretold something. Well, this following turn, I might go Valkyrie and Wings, which would work. Hmm. 
Hmm. Can it not tap me like that? Hello, Lamp. Welcome. I th Is it even worth it? I might try to ambush them, actually. <laughs> I don't think it's even worth it to use the wings. Next turn, we could go Doomscore Oracle, then proc both of them. Imagine a doge with wings chasing its tail. Oh my god, Smurfy, I love it. It's a good visual. Oh, they're playing the pet as well. Gmog! Thank you so much for the six months. I appreciate that. I need to draw some of my foretell creatures that cost zero mana. Those would be good. Welcome back, Gmog. How have you been? <laughs> I see them hovering over the Clarion Spirit. What's up? You're taking Doge out? Thank you, my love. Target opponent discards two cards. If fewer than two cards were discarded, this way you draw cards equal to the difference. Ugh. Gross. Um, I wanna, I really wanna ambush the Infernal Pet, or actually the Pilfering Hawk is not really gonna attack here, is it? It's not. So, I think Wings goes, and... Yeah, I think we, uh, Doomscar and Wings probably keep the Bound and Goal on the way down. I probably wanna weigh down the Pet next turn. Unfortunate. Ooh, that was a good draw. Because now that lets me not use my Bound and Gold, but I do get to make two, two plays here. I get to go Elder Fang Disciple. Uh, Mana Curves is not a Channel Fireball streamer, Boon. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Return two target creature cards that share a creature type from you, from your a graveyard to your hand. Interesting. Okay. All right, that was pretty good for us, and we even get to make the one one. Love it. Hit with Valkyrie. All right, this game is going okay. They do have this land, the one that cracks eventually. Ooh, they have a snow-covered swamp. So it's green, green, blue to crack it. They can get green, green, blue. They can do it now if they want. One, two, three, four, and then copy. What is that attack? My god. Mm. We don't have great attacks. So, this is kind of awkward. I. If I attack with Stalwart Val Valkyrie, they can double block Jaspera Sentinel and P Pilfering Hawk. Can buy the land and if I care. I think I'd rather just bind them after they crack the land. That spends their whole turn. Yeah, I think... I don't think I attack here. Draw cards and discard a card. I... Is it worth it to bound and gold a pilfering hawk? I guess it'll help them find their stuff faster. I feel like I'd rather save it for something meaningful, and I want to try to proc another spirit out of it. <laughs> yeah, Boondoggle. Is this a chicken stream chat? Ah, uh, I mean, it's a chicken stream chat in the sense that I do like chicken. Feed the serpent, that's unfortunate.
I don't even have a reason to like do dub spells anymore. Yeah, given that I can't attack if this thing is around, I am just gonna... What up, King Eo? Welcome. Just gonna go ahead and bind it. They're probably gonna... Oh, they chose not to tap it? I wonder what their foretold spell is if they didn't do that. Oh, they don't have a card. Sorry, that is foretold. That explains it. I know, King Yu. I tried to draft sm snow. Didn't didn't really get there. So I the reason I didn't want to lifelink it up, Johnny, is because we have so many cards that care about two for ones that I think I'd rather try to look. We have five Doomscar Oracles. Kind of want to just see if we draw one of those naturally. Ah, uh, Titanic Growth. If it was Titanic Growth, I would have gone for it there because this is a Reach creature. So it wasn't Titanic Growth. God damn it. And punished. They had two of these? They're playing two of them? I guess they didn't draw an extra card because we discarded a land, so that's something. Oh, they drew a pump spell or something. What did they draw? Alright, well, now this 1-1 one -one can start attacking. Yeah, for sure, Viper. I mean, I was holding on to the land in case I had this card. The 1-1 one -one that makes you discard one. Alright, I don't really care about that thing. We can just start attacking with both. You liked holding the land, too. What did Ben Double Minor again? I don't even remember that. I didn't see that. Um, I don't remember, Smurfy. I watched the showdown. I don't think I watched all of it, though. Because I missed this part, clearly. Okay, so the Frost Dogger can now block the Elder Fang, but... Oh, I could have foretold this, but then that doesn't let me attack with it next turn, so maybe it's not worth it. Um. So if they... This is only at a time they would cast a sorcery, right? Yeah. If they try to do that, we can respond to kill the hawk and then they don't get the second one. Maybe that's worth it. Sure. It wasn't snow. I hope I draw a spell so I get to go feed the serpent plus spell. Oh, amazing. Amazing. And we have the mana for both. Holy moly, we did it. Incredible. This is possibly just a frost auger for them. Um, King Yo, take a look. It's being streamed everywhere. Amazing. We popped off. All right, so we can't attack with that, but we can send with this and this. Nice, nice. Sure. So next turn, they would would they be forced to block here? They are forced to block here, depending on what they... Yeah, they don't have anything in hand. They have to block here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is lethal. So they can hear Spike, activate Frost Dogger, see if they hit a removal spell. But it needs to be a snow card, and then they need to use it to kill one of my creatures. Oh, thank you so much, Johnny. I appreciate that. We did it! Escaping bronze, baby! Gonna be silver gamers today. Oh, amazing. How are our quests going real quick? Snow removal is a small pool of cards. Yeah, there's the red one, right? 
Oh, don't worry, Molly. I know I'm a copper streamer in your heart and everybody else's. <laughs> 40 lands. 20 black or green spells. 30 blue or red spells. All right. Strath is going pretty well. Let's see what's going on in box breaks. What they doing? Are they opening Mono Vesuvas? It looks like they're opening Mono Vesuvas. Why Vesuva? Oh, is this? Oh, is Vesuva on the list? I guess Vesuva must be on the list. Look at the bird token. That looks cool. Ooh, this is a dev. It's an orange name. All right, let's show him the business, yeah? Uh, no black, but I think we can keep it anyway. You'll never get me, Copper Gooby. Yeah, Fader, I I think this is also um, the first orange name I've seen since then. Hello. I will also say hello. Uh, do we have... Oh, look, I got the... This clearing is going to be good, man. I think we foretell Effigy this turn. Yes, I like that plan. Because then next turn we get to go... Clarion Spirit, Scorn Effigy. This is only the first spell each turn, right? Second each turn. So we might want to slow roll the Dusk Wielder so we get to go Halvar, Dusk Wielder. Oh, hello. So instead of playing this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Clarion and Dusk. Yeah, I like it, Molly. Because then we get to do both. And then not play the Scorn Effigy. Because we don't need it yet. And then the following turn, we could go... Um, sword plus Scorn Effigy. We really are kind of popping off. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, hello, that's even better. We can go Doomscar Oracle. Oh, we could go Effigy, Effigy. I, I want to get value while we can. I think I'd rather play Doomscar Oracle. Yeah, our thing's just gonna die, huh? Like, next turn or whatever. Okay, we, we, we kind of popped off. We are gonna lose the Clarion. This is only the time you cast the sorcery, right? Yep. Oh, it's alive. It's alive! There's no way for us to proc it next turn. We could play... If we draw a land, we could just go... Halver and equip. I could put the Halvar and equip on the Clarion Spirit. That way when it dies, it just comes back. Yeah, I love it too, Molly. We've got protection, baby. So, what can we send here? Definitely the Scorn Effigy. Both flyers. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, White Velvet. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Glad you've been enjoying the YouTube contents. Um, just all these clowns, I think. Not the Doomscore Oracle that has bad attacks. Sure, we're gonna get it back. I accept. Okay, not bad, not bad. So then... Next turn, we might want to go, like, Clarion Spirit. Oh, but now it's not going to be equipped. So we could go Clarion Spirit and equip it. Yeah, the, the Spirit Sword helps fuel the whole thing. They didn't play anything. 
I don't have any cards in the yard. Let me go to attacks. You like foretell equip. I could see that. That actually is quite good. We can put it on... Could attack with all dubs for tell too. Yeah, actually, I like that a little bit better. I'm gonna send with all. Accept. And then we can foretell, foretell, foretell. Sure. Okay, okay, I like it. Um, foretell. And foretell. And then over the next two turns, we'll have a lot of good foretelling plus equipping of the sword, which is nice. Like, next turn we can go... Valkyrie, Scorn Effigy. Or actually, maybe like, Clarion Spirit equip Scorn Effigy. Hey, Doko! It's good to see you. How are you? I've been loving it so far, Wolf's Ark. Yeah, I like it. I like that better too, Molly. It's just Spirit Effigy equip on... Doesn't really matter. Could send it on the flyer, but the flyers already get through. Hope they don't have blood on this now. Eh. Oh no. Yeah, so... Mm. Yeah, the sword is my colored mana to equip. It's one in a white. Yeah. I think I do that first, actually. I'm gonna do it here. I think we can attack. And then I can even boast, actually. Or no. Because I can go Claire and Spirit score an effigy. So I could just play the swamp so that I can boast and I can attack with everybody. Don't have to use it yet. <laughs> oh my god, Molly. <laughs> Called out. Maybe I should have waited in case it's a spell that was gonna make me sack stuff here before combat for... Okay, here it is. It's something with Scorn Effigy. Alright, that is fine. It always freaks me out that it takes the, the equipment away. Like, why are you taking the equipment away? I don't want that. Now we can just go Clarion Spirit and then Scorn Effigy and proc. Nice, nice. It did exile it though, so I can't even use it for my Stalwart Valkyrie. Oh well. I do have enough mana to Valkyrie and Oracle next turn. So if I attack, I get in for guaranteed 3, 4 with a boast. Exile target artifact or creature it controls, I make a burb instead. Sure. Yes, it's against an orange name, Wolf's Ark. I haven't played against an orange name in a long time. We were just talking about it. I think it was a beta last time I saw an orange name. Um, I think we just jam. YOLO jam. I think putting it on one of the burbs makes sense. Okay. I'm about to boast. I'm getting ready for some boasting. Boasterino! Boast! Nice, that was some good boasting. Exaxes, baby! So what are the rules for foretell? Oh, hey, look at us. We're silver now. What are the rules for foretell and paper magic? Do you have to reveal what your foretell spell was or no? Because you can't cast it if it's not a foretell spell. So like you can't, it's not like morphs where you would just like pretend that it was a creature. You do have to reveal it. I know we beat the orange name, baby. Surge, thank you so much, friend, for the raid. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in, everybody. We are drafting some 
Kaldheim today. We're 4-0 right now. We are playing in bronze, though, so make it that what you will. Bruker is here. Oh my gosh, Serge. Hi, how are you? It's really good to see you. I hope you had an amazing stream. What were you up to? I wish my bot told me what the person was streaming today. Like, so you know how some bots are like, this person was last seen streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing against a celeb. Do you have to reveal the foretell card? Why can't you just put it face down on the table? No, no, no. You can't. You don't have to reveal it when you're putting it down. I... I was asking when that game is done. Because with morphs, you had to reveal at the end what it was. Because otherwise, you could have just made it into... You could have just put a land as a morph since it's face down. Yeah, and that's a, that's a question I was asking. Is if you had to do it just like morph, you had to reveal it at the end of the turn so that people knew that you didn't just foretell something for no reason. Though, if you did foretell a card for no reason, like, you wouldn't have really gotten that much of a benefit from it, right? There's an O3 that lets you foretell anything. Ew, woo. Interessante. All right, so I think we're just gonna play this face up, and then next turn we can play Doomscar Oracle plus Doomscar Oracle, and then just trigger all of them. Never underestimate the mind tricks. I mean, it's weird, but yeah, I I believe that. What is the O3? What's the name of the O3? Oh no, I can just bin a swamp though. Ain't no thing. Do you think a pro will ever get a game state violation for not revealing Fortel at a tournament? Yeah, people get them all the time. It's super common. They have one black mana up. What is a one black mana trick in this in this format? <laughs> time twister! Got him, baby! What is a one black mana spell that uh, that they have here? Village rights. Oh, that's fine. I can do that. I don't care about that. Are we gonna see some village rights? Yup. Oh shit, so many rights. Wow. Much rights. Yeah, they did have, it look like they had a little something something. I would love to draw another spell I can play next turn, like a three drop. Maybe. How about a Clarion Spirit? Could I interest you in a Clarion Spirit? Rune Crown would also be kind of sweet. Though, oh no, I have the Rune of Sustenance on my hand. Shit. Hmm. This is... Well, this enters the battlefield tapped, right? This is cheap. You do it for four mana. Your 70 month snake is very sweet. Oh my god, look at you! That's right, Mole. That's like the, the cool poisonous snake. <laughs> um, do we actually ruin a sustenance? I kind of feel like we don't. I haven't played that. Hey, Rufio. Thank you so much for the Prime Gaming. I appreciate that. Yo, I don't want to trade with these idiots. Oh my gosh! That was my opponent! You're right! Rufio lost, but we just played! Wow, we got owned! That's what I get for not playing it! It's so sad. Oh yeah, hold on, Rufio, let me go check it out. That is my B. That is my B, my B. <laughs> GG's, I was hoping to draw into my sweeper! Oh my gosh, I, I like totally played into a sweeper. Thanks so much for the games, that was really fun. I appreciate them. Good luck the rest of the way. Yeah, I think we can sack one of these. Make an angel. Yo, Nightmare! Thank you for the Prime Gaming also. I appreciate that. Yeah, so what was it? Blood on the Snow? I guess Together Alone was naming that. Oh, no. 
Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, look at the top three cards of your library, put them into your hand, and the rest into your graveyard. Damn. Put one of them into your hand. Okay, well... My current plan, since that thing seems thick, is to just bind this and start attacking. You stop my 7-2 from happening, but I forgive you! <laughs> I know, Ark! That card would be so good in our deck. d -Loss, thank you so much for the lucky 13. I appreciate that. Oh no, I, I too have been bound in gold. I have a village rights though, yo. We get to stack this at some point in time. Yeah, I can't block this. I, I just don't want to trade these oracles. We have all these two threes too that can just easily block those. I am going to play a planes and slow roll. Trying to get a second spell. Because we're not attacking with these anyway. <laughs> Alright, no blocks. Oh no. That's not good for us. Well... We can certainly weigh down. Unfortunately, I wish we could attack into the Dread Rider and then weigh down or something. We can't really do that. This charger is thick. We could go Doomscar Oracle and then weigh down their Doomscar Oracle. And then if they attack, maybe we just triple block the Dread Rider. It's not great. Dread Rider doesn't attack much, it blocks and activates. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's from their graveyard, right? They have one, two creature cards from their graveyard, so it's gonna ping me for. S yeah. I can let that do for now. Um, yeah, let me check what's up with my CBL. Wolf Sark. Cardboard Live. Can I draw my village rights, please? They didn't activate it. That would be sweet, Time Twister. They're probably casting a second card here, right? Yep. Alright, is my cardboard live working? Nice. Um, sacrifice this creature. Yes. I don't really care about that creature. Oh, man. Okay, we have to slow roll for a second thing for Clarion Spirit. I'm going to play this in case they have the double... the sc Another Skull Raid. They are down to... 18 cards. I'm at 23. I don't really want to trade here. I just want to find a creature that can block these profitably. Hello. We could just go... Clarion Spirit, play Sword. We don't have enough to equip also. We might want to just play Halvar as a creature. Oh no, but then we can't double spell, unfortunately. Yeah, I think we just go Clarion Spirit. Oh no, we could. We could go Clarion Spirit and play it as a creature. We have enough. I actually thought we didn't, but we do. God, but the sword is so much better. So let's do this. Let's go Clarion Spirit, play sword and equip. Yeah, I, I think so too, Ark. I like the creature just because we're kind of under a lot of pressure right now. But this is going to gain us four life, get another token, and we can presumably protect the Clarion Spirit if they can't kill it right now, though it seems like they might have the four mana exile a creature. Doesn't that feel like that's what they have? 
And if that's the case, we probably don't want to put the sword on the clarion spirit because then they can attack next turn and they kind of juke us. Let me actually play around that. I think it's worth it. Because I'd much rather they kill this and exile it. Okay, they hit me. Hi, Vim! Welcome! I think so too, Wolfsark. That's kind of how it felt like to me too. Also, this one in particular, I think the equipment just looks so much better than the god. That is just a snow-covered swamp. Cool. Oh no, was Baby Vim not feeling so good? I hope Baby Vim is doing okay. Okay, we do have this working, I think. Oh, you're right. Halvar does get to... At the beginning of each combat, you may attach target or equipment. Damn, we could have moved it, actually. That's wild. Oh, no. We got bound in gold. Wow, that was sucky. Baby Bim is still second, driving us nuts by not eating well. No, Baby Bim! I think I'm not blocking any of these. I just have to move my stuff. Move my thing, too. Unfortunate. I just gotta move that here, probably. It does still feel like they have the four mana card. I guess I'm not sure. They are draining me. Oh, we could have done that. You're right. Damn, they're going ham. Yeah, we had enough mana, mana to move EG move back. It does it has felt like they've had that card in their hand for like 3 turns now. Hmm. I really don't want to trade the Clarion Spirit. I think I'm just gonna chump here. They're out of- oh no. Yeah, they're out of cre- oh no, they still had one left. Never mind, that doesn't even work. We would have had to trade there and then we probably die next turn anyway. That's unfortunate. They always- I feel like they always show you the prompt of the did you have fun in the match when you get clowned. <laughs> they always do though. It's never after a good game. It's always after a game like that where you're like, damn it. The poll doesn't even make sense. Like, everyone's just gonna answer whether they won or lost. <laughs> yeah, did you win? Yes, no, okay. One sec, Chad. I need to go use the restroom real quick. Let me be right back. I would love to see the percentages of the poll and whether you're won or lost. I think that poll is probably close to- 50 50. Ooh, woo, hello, squirrel. How's my second favorite bard doing today? Hmm. We get to Doomscar Oracle on three plus score effigy. That's cute. Keep. Did you enjoy playing against the top meta deck in the non ladder queue? What are you, what are you talking about? I'm playing limited. Oh my god, Squirrel. Yo, I like their demon metal magma thing. Um, yeah, so I want to do Scorn Effigy for this, because I want to... Two spells, one turn, next turn. I heard Red Bruce have 22 charisma. I saw the conversation of that on the Discord. Don't think I didn't see you clowns giving... Giving Bruce his little hat and wings and like the little propeller hat and stuff. He's such a cutie. Luis recently asked us if we wanna like when we're done with this campaign, because we're kinda getting into the end game. If we wanna play a new campaign or we wanna just restart with new characters. And like a big part of the reason why I wanna keep playing the same characters is because I wanna keep playing the land shark in the next campaign. Hmm. 
Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Did you enjoy getting crushed? Yes, no, okay. It's true. Bim, I agree with what Ark is saying. That's just good advice. That's just good life advice. What are they reading my scorn effigy so much for? Oh, that's why. Unfortunate. Um. How do we sequence these next two turns? Because I could go Raven. I could go Raven Wings, make them discard. Yo, what up, Jester? Or I can go Raven Wings, Doomscar Oracle, suspend play land, and then next turn, go Elderfang Disciple, play Doomscore Oracle. Maybe that's better. So I have to go... Foretell this. And then do that. And then that also lets them one more turn to, like, play something else from their hand, so hopefully Elderfang Disciple gets something better. We'll see. Nothing's going to the moon arc. It's it's going the opposite direction. GME's going to the center of the earth. It's just couldn't be plummeting faster than it is. <laughs> Ooh, I think Julie's about to get back from her walk. She's gonna be excited. Let me have this camera on just in case. I don't wanna trade here. I know nobody could have predicted that, right, Ark? Nobody could have guessed. Here comes the pup! <laughs> Hi Julie! <laughs> I love when the duck gets the zoomies, it makes me so happy. Uh, uh... <laughs> Hi, Jules. Hi, Paparita. That dog has the zoomies. Ooh, she's gonna get a little nuggy. Jules! Jules, you want a treat? I don't know if you guys can hear that. Julie! <laughs> Sit. Shake. Shake, shake, high five. All right, good girl. Hold on, I need to take my. <laughs> that dog is activated. My God. Um, Julie, Julie, calm down. Seriously, you're out of control, dog arena. Oh shoot. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna play the oracle. Then I'm just gonna play the dusk wielder. The next turn I can do this and that. Or no, actually, I can't do that because I don't have enough mana. That was just a mistake. Yeah, that was bad. All right, good beats. I don't think I... Ah, uh, we would tr raid with... No, nah, we wouldn't trade the Sculptor Winter. Never mind. Maybe I'll just peel... Hello, doggers. Hey, Jules, want to come here? Want to come here? Oh, no. Wow, I'm getting clowned. Hey, Jay Cross, welcome. I am getting Omega clowned. I might bound and gold this thing because, like, trading with it is really annoying. We can never attack with a Dusk Wielder, not really, right? So we, we're happy to trade either Elder Fang or Dusk Wielder, and I can just bound and gold the Dark Null. Cause that th or the death knell because that thing's just gonna spit out a two two at the end. So they've been good, lady. I like the set a lot. Have you played the set much? Mm, right. Well, there you go. Hold on, let me play this first. They do have something, but I guess it just could be the despair activation. You have not played the set yet. I see, lady. It's been pretty fun. I would recommend it if you get a chance. Yo, J Cross, Magic Arena has been extremely glitchy for me. I have to restart it like three times today. Obscene. <laughs> I saw that yesterday, Molly. It's true. <laughs> Hold on. There you go. Um. These attacks honestly look bad. I'm not gonna attack. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, score <laughs> Louise! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Louise, those paper hands are really coming to get ya. Was that your DD money too? <laughs> Why are they attacking? This doesn't seem like a good attack. I might suspend- or like I might um, foretell this. Just don't really have good attacks here, I don't really... No, Squirrel. We've got the suspended losses, you see. So we're gonna get to use those suspended losses once we go to the moon. It's all coming together, dude. Oh wait, hold on. I just realized something. I just realized something. It... This isn't the second spell. So I should have played my Doomscar Oracle first. That's too bad. Okay, search your library. It might... Yeah, Aaron, I just realized. Because we would have gotten one more. I thought the rune... I, I think... I thought you got it in hand, actually. I still don't want to attack here because it seems to me like they might have the, like, giant growth in hand or something. I can't really figure out what they have. We were cantripping also, which means that we might have played something else instead. I'm, I'm... I guess we'll see. I think this turn we're probably gonna... We might not even be equipping the rune crown. We might just go clarion spirit into doomscar oracle, try to get the one one. I think that's better. Oh my god, squirrel, get out. <laughs> oh, you're losing it. Look at us, we're popping off. We don't even need lifelink. We built our own shitty lifelink. What do they have that they are holding in their hand for, that's been foretold for so many years? Like, a, we have five, Gred. We, we, we kind of popped off. Like, I kind of feel like at this point I can attack with all these three. But that still might be a mistake. I guess we'll see. At this point, I think we're... we're yeah, that, I thought it was a t titanic growth. I thought that's what they had. And I thought they wanted to attack with a masked vandal either, but they realized that it was bad for them to do that because then they, if they attacked, they just took the one, and then I attacked back. So I think I'm going to get titanic growth this turn. Oh, it's the one that if you take damage, you get to kill it. Yeah, the Jasper or Jarl. Or Majurl. Is it two Jarls? No way. Wow. Yeah, Yanni, I think, called that. That was not great, but it wasn't that bad. Quip creature gets plus one plus one and it has lifelink. Um They can't double block a Doomscar Oracle, so Cause I would just Oh, they can single trade actually. That's fine. It's not forced to double block. I'm not forcing a double block. It's it's a single block, which I think is fine. And then I can move this afterward. I might put it on the Elder Fang Disciple, actually. That way if they attack, they, this can trade with that. I'll hold on to that, planes. I think next turn, maybe instead of attacking, I'll just put it on the 1-1 one, one and then keep going. Oh, hello! I don't even really think we need to do this yet. Might as well move it. We'll see if they attack. I put my planes now. Yeah, 
we could be sending with like the three two, the Elder Fang Disciple, and the one one. Whenever a permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or ability, an opponent controls a player may draw a card. Annoying. I might village rights my um, Elder Fang. Yeah, for it to be the first spell. I think I'm gonna get, let this get through. I don't really care. Julie, calm down. This has trample anyway, so it's not like I can block and sack or anything. Hope I don't die to six over seven. Yeah, I hope so. I think we're gonna be okay. Let me start actually by sacking the Elder Fang Disciple. I think that's the least valuable one. Wow, that was not a good draw. Score an effigy, just hard cast. We can move the um, rune crown over here. Play that. Hit with you. They don't have good attacks on the like on the way back at least. They do have that six five, but like they kind of need to leave some stuff back also, because otherwise they die. I think we're doing just fine. Does this thing do anything? Yo, did they make it so that you can't interact with your opponent's pets anymore? At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life unless you sack this creature. I'm probably gonna sack it. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> like, I'm probably gonna sack it just because I'm planning on moving it to the other 1-1, one, one, you know? You think it's worth keeping it? As another flying body. Yes, that's true. I think we can train the Scorn Effigy here. Nah, we don't even need to. We're at 35. Hey, Laura! Welcome back! Decline. Ow. Ugh! Why so much land? Uh, hit, hit. If I hit with everything and they block with this, I get in for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Nah, we can just hit with the Flyers. And then post-combat, I can move... Oh my god, so much stuff. This over to the Scorn Effigy so they can't attack anymore. Hey, Jaytree, how are you? Yes, I'm doing fine on life. My things all have lifelink. So now they don't have attacks with Jarl. They don't have attacks with Mammoth either. Klein. Razakun! That was some nice point incineration. I appreciated it. I think it's better to just hit with this. Two lifelink is better than one and one lifelink. Uh, I can hold on to the clarion spirit since there's no real reason. Move over here. I like it. I loved it, Razakun. How are you doing, by the way? It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a little bit, I feel. What do you do again? Exile a creature card from your graveyard, put two plus one plus one counters on target creature, activate this ability only at a time you would cast a sorcery. A creature card from your graveyard. They've got one, two, three, four. So that's going to get them a lot of counters over a period of time, but they're also at seven life. So how's the deck going? It's good, Darzog. We're four, one, I think. Get a spell. Come on, man. Good, Razakun, I like it. Oh, yeah, the Mine Rot and to, to save the Clarion Spirit. Yeah, maybe we should have done that. Th there's this weird tension with, like, whether you want to keep one land in your hand so that you play around the two drop that makes you discard one or play all your stuff so you play around the, mi the four mana Mine Rot. It's kind of weird. Okay, now I'm going to hold it, I guess. They still on one in an activation, but that could be anything. Hit. Oh no, now I'm wishing that I would have split it up.
yeah, that was good, Molly. Now we can keep attacking with the other one, even if it's only for one. It's such a slow, such a slow clock. But I mean, we've drawn three lands over the last three turns. If we draw, sure. If we draw a spell next turn, we're gonna get another spirit, which we were gonna get two, but they did um, exile my thing. Oh, thank God. So we can go Clarion Spirit. And then weigh down this fool. And then just get rid of the effigy is fine. Proc that, get another spirit, gain some life. Which kind of, like, this itself just offsets the three times that we've paid to keep this guy around. And then we also want to move this over here. Attack with you. Yeah, this has been a sweet game. I think there's a chance they could have gotten aggressive with our battle mammoth a long time ago. Don't care about that. Oh, that's not bad. I'm actually going to just attack with two different ones. That way, if they have removal, it doesn't... It do They can only, like, I can still get one thing through. Okay. So, they have to deal with two of our flyers or bust? Finally, the battle mammoth's going to get in there. Everybody. Um, I can see trading there. Just taking nine. Um, I haven't played standard at all, Laura. I have to play next week. Because I'm doing commentary of the CFP Pro Show. And I, which, to be fair, when it's standard, like, you can just learn the cards that are getting played in standard from the new set. I know, that was a, that was a good game. It's so dark in here. Nice. Nice. I know, Razakun, it's, uh, it's been a while. It's gonna be Luis and I. That's a pairing you don't see often these days. Egon, god of death. Oh my god, Wolf's Ark. <laughs> Amazing. Look, we're 5-1, baby. Let's keep going. I know, Daggerhawk. It's been so long. It's after a thousand years. Read a repulsa ammo. Yeah, side boosters are awesome. Are you watching the box breaks thing? I've, I've, I've been watching as we go. Oh, look. Krim is in this box break, it looks like. Ooh, that, that Svela, like, different border one is pretty cool. Who am I playing against? Goldspan Dragon is really good. I think that might be... I, I do these, like, little factor fiction things for CFB for their newsletter, and I the poll was whether or not Goldspan Dragon was the best card uh, from Kaldheim for Standard. In Kaldheim for Standard, and I said that I thought it was. Are box breaks fun? Yeah, they are! Squirrel, I've, I've actually just bought into a bunch of them just with my own cash monies, you know? They're, they're exciting. Oh my god, Squirrel, stop. <laughs> <laughs> you were just doing it. You just wanted to get it out there, didn't you? That's what you wanted. That's You just wanted to put it out there. So Clarion Spirit, and then next turn I can go Clarion Spirit, but not a second one. So that's not good. What do I do? Whenever you activate a boost ability, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. That card seems good, dang. Oh, so sweet, Daggerhawk. It's the CFB Pro Showdown, not this weekend, but the next weekend. It's on Saturday. If you if you just Google CFB Pro Showdown February, you should find the the first result should be should be a thing there. I'm just gonna play Clarion Spirit, I guess. Um, I think us still with GME Molly, but like it's very close. They were both terrible bets. <laughs> no, you don't like to see that. Okay, so we do get to set up something cool here. We get to go Infernal Pet. 
into next turn, we're gonna go Clarion Sword. And then we'll put a counter on pet and a plus and a, we'll make a token with Clarion. So this isn't looking I I really don't want to trade here. <laughs> yeah, Iron Eyes. These paper hands though. Our paper hands are weak. My opponent is popping off, my god. Okay, so Clarion Spirit. Sword. Plus one, plus one counter. I honestly don't feel like I can attack here. I mean, this has... I just... Maybe we raise. Because this thing's going to give... This doesn't give lifelink, but we have a bunch of things that give lifelink. So if we go Infernal Pet and then just take some damages, we can maybe trade the spirit for that thing, no problem. And then Battle Shield Warrior plus Wings of the Cosmos in combat or something. Yeah, look, I'm going to trade there. I think we can make this trade. I mean, there's an, ain't, ain't no thing. Because this guy boasts and he pops off too. Oh, they, they too have the Doomscar Oracle, don't they? Hey, Battle Shield Warrior. We're not even going to equip the sword. I'm just going to put this on my Infernal Pet and we're going to try to YOLO jam. Oh, I could have put it on the sword, but then I don't get to attack and gain life this turn. Yeah, interesting. I think I do send with a Clarion, even though we do get to proc it next turn, but that also stops them from gaining life. Which seems like it might be worth it. Yeah, I probably should have put it on the sword. I really wanted to gain the life this turn to try to, like, outrace them. Yeah, they can't even really attack here. Okay, so... No, it is Eldron. It definitely is. It's not like a zero-sum game where it's either important or not important. Um, Alright, so let's play Raven Wings. Corey, thank you so much for the 36. I really appreciate Worth that. They were like really tanking on that. Um, This is, yeah, we probably want to do the sword. We And we do have to play the planes. Hold on, let me do that. Let me do the sword. I'm going to equip it on... This, and then we're probably gonna bow straight. Mm. Three damage to any target if it's a creature. If a creature is dealt damage, this way it gets plus five plus oh until end of turn. Okay, that really did not work out the way they wanted it to. Th this card does not seem good, let me tell you. The deal three. It's four mana to deal three, and then it could just go sideways like that. That was not good for them. <laughs> that just really didn't work out. All right. This is for the trophy, baby! The trophies that don't exist on MTG Arena. But trophies in our heart, nonetheless. Um, keep. What's my final boss music theme of choice? Probably like the Atma weapon from Final Fantasy 3. 
Or like any generic boss fight from Final Fantasy VII is also pretty good. Yeah, that play did not work out for them. <gasps> prediction started. Are we gonna get the trophy? Is that the prediction? Mm. All right, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna suspend the Doomscar Oracle because I think if we draw a land next turn, we can go Clarion Spirit plus Doomscar Oracle and be pretty happy about it. Like we'll play the Spirit first and then get a one-one. We won't proc the Oracle, which is fine. <laughs> trophy in our hearts! Oh my god! Wow, we are getting clowned. So we didn't mise the land. I think this prediction counts the second chance. Yes, Time Twister. I think it's just, do we have a trophy for this draft? Um. Yeah, I think I'm just suspending again. This is unfortunate mana screw. Pay two mana to move it to the other side. No, Dreamy, I have paper hands. What am I going to do? I put my paper hands in water and they... It turned to paper mache. God damn it. Um, well, at this rate, I can just go Doomscar Oracle, Doomscar Oracle, I guess. They have a, uh, like, icy fr frostbite, whatever. Icy frost. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. So, chat. Here's just a, a blind poll. Just answer, like, whatever you first feel. If you were offered to buy a... Mm, hold on. How do I make two spells one turn? I can... Play the Infernal Pet, but then next turn I have to draw a land to play Clarion Spirit and Elder Fang. Or I could suspend Doomscar. Maybe I'll just play Battleshield Warrior. Yeah, maybe I'll just play my pet. I think so. And then hope to spike a land next turn. Alright, so you were offered this at the store. Do you buy it? Everything bagel ice cream. Everything bagel flavored ice cream. Or do you look at that and say, what the hell, why would I buy that? That's everything bagel flavored ice cream. You have to pay for it. This isn't free. You're not... It's not like somebody's giving it to you for free. You have to buy it and then get it shipped. Would you buy it? <laughs> wow, people people are interested. So, Louise... So, you, I, I've talked about this brand a bajillion times on my stream. Um, they're called Jenny's Flavored Ice Cream. And they have a new flavor called Everything Bagel Ice Cream. And Luis saw that and he snap bought it. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it just got home today. And he tried it and he was like, he was like, I'm, is it good? And he's like, I mean, it's interesting, which is the obvious answer you're going to get for Everything Bagel Ice Cream. But I'm going to have some later when we play D&D. Miss of... Blah, 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 blah. What was that? Enchant creature or vehicle, enchanted creature gets minus three minus oh. My pet! Not my pet. <laughs> when something is visit, when whenever you order something at a restaurant and they're like, do you like it? Ah, it's interesting. <laughs> hmm. Oh no, is that the can't attack or block alone cowardly guy? If I get my weight way down or whatever it's called, dead weight, forget. Mm, can't dub spell. I could bound the Craven Hulk and then suspend this guy, and the next turn I could go this and this. That actually sounds pretty good. Oh no, I can't do it. Never mind. It's too much mana. Ugh, stupid. So no matter what I do, I can't do two things this turn. He has Pyroclasm on board, so that's scary. Oh. Two damage to each creature active is ability on the time you cast a sorcery. You're right. That is not good. I did not see that. Thanks for pointing that out. If that's the case, 
we might want to rune crown and put the thing into the rune crown. And if we search her, it is in our in our library, right? Yeah. And then we put that on the rune crown, and then if we draw land, damn it. I really wanted to hit land so that we could suspend the Doomscar Oracle. Next turn, maybe we'll just go suspend, suspend. Megram, I think they made it that way because there's some cards that are cheaper if you foretell them. So, like, um, the one that is two to foretell, zero to cast would just be two mana to cast if you could play it in the same turn. Which, it makes sense that they would make that restriction. Like, they don't want you to just free roll the cheaper cost. Also, it doesn't make a lot of sense, like, flavor-wise. You're like, I foretell that I'm going to play this card literally right now. <laughs> From, like, a flavor perspective, it's really weird, right? Oh, no. Well, shit. They had the wrath in hand, but then also... We're also getting clowned. Next step is try three, and the last one, whenever you cast a spell, it might cost five or greater. Draw two cards and discard a card. Um, it's plus one, plus one. So, and it's two to equip. I am gonna foretell some business foretell this and foretell that something that plays around the wrath and then this if i put this on it it will also play around the wrath i am worried that their deck is gonna have like some big payoffs that i'm not gonna have a way to deal with because they wrath my board like my deck is pretty aggressive if they play any of the big giants another one of those yeah that's not good next one is cast cmc5 or greater i feel like they've been slow rolling for that turn Way down doesn't super help. Yeah, Craven Hulk seems not bad, to be honest. So, what do I do? Do this. Equip Rune Crown, play Effigy. Oh no, do they have the. The shock. God dang. I just think we're gonna die so fast if we don't play our stuff. I'm, like, somewhat tempted to not play the Scorn Effigy, but that gets to block the Craven Hulk. If they end up attacking, you know? Why? Because we're dying. We are dying. Very quickly. We're dead in two turns if we don't do this. Oh, it's not an enchantment. Oh my gosh, I thought it was dead weight. Oh, never mind. That was really bad. We did not want to do that. Yeah, I thought it was dead weight. Like I thought it was it was dead weight, but with the extra cost to exile a card from the yard. Scry three when it dies, draw three cards. If three or more creatures died this turn, okay, yeah, that's not gonna. Yeah, I, I don't think we can win this, like, I mean, we would have been in a better position because we would have bound and gold that one and then we can deadweight this thing, but it's still not really going to change that we're losing badly. 
We might be able to use the Wing of Cosmos to juke something. Maybe the Inga Rune Eyes. It's very good, Pinky. Still not good enough to want to try the bagel flavored ice cream, but very good. <laughs> We're super fucking dead. <sighs> you believe less than previously indicated? I, I don't believe, BK. We are so dead. You're leaving the work life behind. Is this the Haverdeck? Yes, this is still the same deck, Ryan. This is the... We're in either going to get the trophy here, which is not going to happen because we're losing badly. And then we have one more shot. I guess I'm on the block and sack plan. Is that true? Oh, well, the seven six has trample. We're not on the block and sack plan. We're dead. Smurfy, the trophy was for this draft. So, I I I don't know which mod said it, but I would be surprised if it wasn't for the draft entirely. So we get another shot at it. This is the last one though. The very last one! Boo -doo -boo -boo -doo -doo -doo. What is this, BK? What did you do? <laughs> I like it. Made by Anonymous less than a year ago. Made by Anonymous, huh? I'm playing against some sexy pants. I don't know if we can battle against sexy pants. Oh no. This hand's weird. Valley Dasher dot deck on KTK flashbacks. Oh my god, I used to love Valley Dasher so much. It's such a bad card. Yeah, I think I'm gonna mulligan it. It's like really good if we draw some stuff, but pretty bad if we don't. We can keep this and send the way down back. The way down doesn't look like it's like it's gonna be turned on anytime soon. Keeping some removal, suspending this on two. Spiking. Spiking a, I don't know, Clarion Spirit or something. Oh yeah, Ryan, same. I have cheered for many a Valley Dasher, and I don't think I've ever won with Valley Dasher. Valley Dasher is just terrible. Come on! I mean... That might be worth it. Sadly, it doesn't pump up its life, so it just gives it life link. I think it's worth it. It it cantrips too. Oh my god, they have something. Man, I don't know. It's really bad if we go for it and they actually had something. I I am not super familiar with a set yet. So I don't really know what they could have for that much mana. I mean, it could be like the white pump spell. It could be village raids. <sighs> Stop, Louise. You're out of control. Is there an instant speed kill? I don't know, BK. I, I, I'm not drafting as much as I used to, so I'm... You don't think there is one? You could have verdict which hits tapped creatures. All right, I'm going to go for it. Oh, murder is in the set, but it's... Yeah, you're right. It's an uncommon, right? I guess they didn't have it. Still drew a land, sadly. I 
No, they wouldn't have foretold the murder because they played the story seeker. Yes, pre premeditated murder is got later changed to poison. Like poisonous cup or poison the cup or something like that. I'll probably bind that thing in gold. Thing has lifelink too, right? Oh, BK, but they can't cast a murder if they if they play it, right? Because it's uh, two to foretell, two to... Or is it just one? I guess I'm not actually sure. Let me play this. Can't even attack. Void Pointer, thank you so much for the 20 months. I know foretell costs are two, but what is Poison Cup foretell cost? That's what we're asking about. 1B. So they couldn't have cast it in that spot. Luis is just being an ass. I can tell. Yes, I know. I don't think it's worth it to feed to the serpent. Wow, every card I have is... And then I can't even use that because you have to stack a creature, right? <laughs> We're getting clowned. Yeah, it'd be better if we weren't drawing all lands. I agree. <laughs> Yellowing it is so bad, though. Like, I feel like we're just lo I think if we sack the Doomscar Oracle and send the rune to the yard, we're basically just asking to lose to, like, the first piece of removal they have. So... I don't know. I'm gonna take it. Try to attack on the way back. If they play a creature, I can feed it or something. Sure. Yeah, I do get the rune back if I draw crown. I ooh, finally something. I'm gonna have to pay MSRP for that. This doesn't even really block any of these things very well, sadly. Hi, Gooby, how's it going? Hi, NC. Welcome. It's good to see you. I might end up trading for a Coma's Faithful or something. I'm gonna hold on to these in case they have the mine rot, the big mine rot. When a DTB is up to two target creatures, each get plus one plus one indestructible until on the turn. Okay. I think we're gonna be sacking the stalwart Valkyrie because we're such such low lives. Like if we block here, sag village rights, and try to draw some action. <sighs> take five. They don't gain four, but they're at 31, so it doesn't even really matter. But then maybe we'll actually draw something big, like... The problem is our deck doesn't actually have anything big. Our deck is all like little small creatures that... ...work well if you don't flood out. I just don't think we can take all this damage. Yeah, if we get halvers and equipment that'd be kind of decent. Can you stop? If I get another spell, okay. Okay. Yeah, there doesn't... I mean, Luis, there's that uncommon angel, right? But that's kind of it. The rune crown is really unfortunate draw. But it might be worth it because if I go clarion spirit, rune crown, equip... Um, I can make a great haul and sack the token. Yeah, exactly, Sage. That, that, exactly. That's exactly it. So if I go, yeah, Clarion Spirit, Rune Crown, feels bad, man. Rune Crown doesn't do anything. But then we can equip here. This thing now can block the Story Seekers. 
And now we have the 1-1 one, one to turn into a 1-4. And then we're off to the races or something. They're probably going to have a removal spell for my Doomscar Oracle, though. Damn it. I really want to trade the Comas Faithful here. I mean, this gains me 4, right? It has lifelink. Yeah. So I go to 12, then I take 7, 8, 9. All right. Fuck me. Might as well attack with it. Put that on to... Or actually... No, this is fine because this gets to block either of these and then maybe we take a trade there in quotes, but then we actually use wings. Okay. Oh no, we just die. Because we don't have lifelink anymore. Sucks to suck. Yeah, we're still dead, sadly. Yeah. Because we put that there, we put that there, we take five and we have no lifelink. We lost it because we had to fire off this rune crown while we still had the rune crown in place. My points! I'm sorry, chat. We didn't deliver. Unfortunate. Ugh. These last two games were really rough. I feel like we really flooded out in this last game. Haters getting paid off. I know, BK. We did level up, though. Yes, I, I mean, I, I punted against the... the Izzet deck, but I also don't think we could have beaten the Izzet deck. I think we need to get lucky to beat them. Ooh, I got a little Kaya action. Oh my gosh, are nice, how could you? Shorting those Gabby Stonks. Cyclone Summoner. We got a lot of call time packs, that's nice. I don't understand this card still. Choose the next then choose target non-legendary creature. The next time one or more creatures or planeswalkers enter the battlefield this turn, they enter as a copy of the chosen creature. It's so weird, because like it's like a pre <sighs> I don't know. That card I don't I don't get that card. It's like a pre-clone. It stonks! You're right, Ark. The card is just stonks. Amazing. It totally is stonks. You play this card, raise the alarm, and get multiple clones of some fatty. Yeah, I, I guess it works much better when you're, like, trying to make multiple tokens under the battlefield. I guess then that's when, that's when you're doing stonks. It's just a weird card, though. Alrighty, everybody. I need to go use the restroom real quick, but when I get back, we're going to draft again. Uh, so let me finish this video for the YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed another call time draft. Um, call time's been very fun. I very much would recommend it. Maybe update arena. It was extremely buggy for me today, I think. Yes, it was in this video that we had to crash and restart like three times. Um, if you would like to support the stream and channel, something super easy you can do is just subscribe to it. That lets you know when other videos come out. It's totally free to you. And if you're shopping on channelfirewall.com and you use the code Gabby, G-A-B-Y, that also directly supports the stream. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See you later. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.